Hello guys, today I want to show you how you can create this kind of procedural city footprint generator. It will try to adapt to whatever you do. You can make some main roads in here. As you can see, those are much thicker than the secondary ones. And will try to adapt to whatever you given to him. Kind of like this. Now, I probably won't go how to make all sorts of buildings scattering on top of it because you have the tutorial on the Rail Clone official channel. I just copied those and uh, yeah, but on their channel they kind of have the city layout placed by hand, drawing splines individually each one and I didn't really like that. So I wanted to create something that I can kind of control with like the route that I absolutely have to have in my scene but then everything else is kind of generated procedurally so I don't have to rebuild all of this or if I have to change one road I don't, I don't have to rebuild it again and again and again so let's get started so here we are in an empty scene, let's just make the first layer, let's call it um, base, city layer, let's create our first spline, let's make something big, this is going to be our print, I'm gonna call it 01 city print and I'm working in the meters and the system unit is also meters because it's easier then next I'm gonna create my roads just go like this and I'm gonna going to create them inside the same object so it's kind of easier to manipulate afterwards and for now I'll just keep the intersection over here or whatever you want it'll work just fine let's rename this to a one main road now let's create the second layer let's call it a city chat as a generator let's reference the spline let's call this print start let's also reference the spline call it roads to bold let's put both of these into this layer turn off this one so I'm going to extrude this road upwards and I'm gonna go down on the z-axis to make it intersect the spline now over here I'm gonna do a tie boolean I'm gonna do subtract slide surface I'm gonna pick this spline as you can see we have our roads carved in now I'm gonna do tie select, I'm gonna do polygons and I'm gonna do normals. It's just to pick everything, every single polygon. And then I'm gonna do a tie weld. And the reason for this is because I want to avoid this kind of situation over here. So we're gonna do 10. And we have a single vertex over here. Now let's do a tie, a face fracture, and let's do a quarter pie mesh. And the reason we're doing the face fracture is because we want for our main roads to be present in 
in our layout so it it's gonna it's going to quadruply the mesh separately each polygon it's, it's going to quadruply each polygon separately now after this I'm going to do a relax I'm gonna do Unclosed edges. I'm gonna do one, one hundred. And the reason for this is, I want to get rid of those very small tiles. So I'm trying to make them as even as possible over here. Then I'm going to do a face structure again, and I'm gonna do a. Tri weld. And tri weld is gonna be quite high because, he, as you can see here, once we're gonna start adding the roads, so I'm gonna have an extremely small triangle here or quad or whatever, but it's gonna be very small. So we're trying to eliminate those. So I'm now. The start of the layout is finished. Let's reference this one. Let's call this meet. Let's turn off this one. And here we're gonna select everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do a tie select. I'm gonna do it by open edges. Open edges. I'm gonna do crossing, yes. Now I'm gonna do edge weight, tie edge weight, and I'm gonna do only if both are selected. I'm gonna put the weight to zero, and we're gonna set the initial value to, value to zero. So we won't have any chamfer on the outer edge of the city. Now let's do another tie select. Let's do um, open edges. Let's do invert selection, so we're selecting everything else in between. I'm also going to set this to window. I'm gonna add a new one. We're gonna do subtract and we're gonna put mesh into it. Now in mesh we're gonna pick our two ball and as you can see it doesn't really work the way we want it to work so we have to make some changes first of all I would put this to window and then I'm going to reference this object and instead of calling it to ball I'm gonna do to select and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put shell modifier so two and two let's say and let's do push like maybe one meter now in start not start sorry in the mid we're going to select instead of selecting this mesh we're going to select to select now as you can see it's selected now over here I'm going to do another edge weight I'm going to set initial value to 0 05 and I'm gonna do a weight over here set to 05 then let's do another tie select and let's just select a mesh window let's pick our to select and let's make this we're not going to set the initial value over here but we're going to select if both vertices are selected we're setting the weight to 1 so if this road is going to be 10 meters wide all else is half of it so 5 meters and here it's going to be 0 now let's make a reference from this let's call this uh, building plot put it in the new layer city and uh, 
And over here I'm going to do jumper. I'm going to set this to zero by weight, seven meter scale. I'm going to select all edges. And turn up the minimal angle. As you can see, these roads are bigger, these roads are smaller, and if you want even smaller roads, you can go ahead over here, put this to 0.25.1. It'll try to make them as even as possible. So, yeah, that's the base of it. Now I'm just going to do an open jumper. So these are going to be our building plots. Now I'm going to do a tie weld just to make sure that we don't have any unnecessary polygons or to two unnecessary vertices. Then I'm going to do a um, tie select just to select all of the polygons, I'm going to do um, normals and now I'm going to make an inset face so that we have our sidewalks. Let's make it maybe three, 3 meters on each side of the road. And uh, yeah, now you can just put uh, First of all, let's probably do, well, doesn't matter, material by, by elements. This is what you're gonna need once you go to rail clone. And uh, now let's make another reference of this object. <laughs> let's call it Roads. Now I'm also going to put it over here. Now from the building plot, I'm going to copy this. Going to paste instance. And here I'm going to invert those. I probably don't need the. Well, I don't need any of those here. Let's just make this black. Let's make this gray. Now for the final touch. Again let's select the mid part. Let's reference this into uh, lines for the rail clone. Put it over here. Let's take all of these, copy, let's paste, install this, and now I'm going to direct tie select, polygons, I'm going to have the stack selection, doesn't work, okay, let's do open edges, okay. I'm going to delete mesh and now I'm going to tie mesh to splines so those splines will have these material ideas for the rain clo rail clone object and here you have it so to change the layout later on from the rail clone all you have to do is to make some seed or you can do another tie select to make clusters but yeah that's the basics of it now you can just take your base and have fun with it however you like if you find those plots to be pretty small, you can always go to 
base proc sure not the press sorry quadruply mash you can do maybe six percent so you have a bit bigger plots and maybe the you know the chamfer is not too big 14 it's going to give you a 40 meter wide main road which is around two lanes on one side and two in another so yeah there you have it folks hope you like it enjoy <laughs>